Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It is time for our full circle. But before we get to that, earlier in the show, we mentioned uh, Light It Up Blue, of course. Um, right. For Selena Shantae Hazard. and Dylan. Yes, for Shantae and Dylan. And we are Lighting It Blue all month. Mm -hmm. And Facing Autism with Children is the name of the organization. So please make sure you look them up on Facebook and support them as well. Mm -hmm. So it is time for our full, full circle discussion. Yes. It's time for us to take a look at a, at a topic that is important to us. And hopefully it is uplifting to you and informational. And, you know, in, in our community, uh, mental health has become oh my a God. stigma. Recently, Mariah Carey came forward stating that she suffers from bipolar 2 disorder. Mm -hmm. She told People Magazine that she was first diagnosed in 2001 and wow. didn't want to believe it. She went on to say she is currently receiving treatment in hopes that the stigma is lifted. Uh, you know, why is it such a huge um, denial in our community? Um, is it that we're being, you know, you don't want to be labeled crazy or yeah, that you don't, exactly. you know, want help? And have any of you actually been face depression or face depression or anxiety in your lives? I, have, I actually have face yeah. anxiety and depression and um, postpartum depression. And I've seen um, I've seen a therapist, and I still see a therapist. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Jennifer Lester. Hey, Jennifer. Good, um, good. Which is a your mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. And I, I think that therapy is healthy. I think that it is if you if you get um, a respiratory infection, what do you do? You go to the doctor. Absolutely. If there's some type of sickness that you're dealing with, you go to the doctor. Absolutely. You'll if you get a knee injury, you'll go to a doctor that specializes in in extremities. You know. Right. So at the same token, you should want to uh, find a doctor that can help heal your mind. Yes. You know what I'm saying in your spirit. <clears throat> so I just think that we have to stop shying away from therapy. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people walking around. I know Kwa can attest to this. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of people walking around with mental illness and mental ill. M mental health issues that are not um, dealing with them mm -hmm. properly because of, like you talked about yesterday, Rashawn, and just in, in a meeting, that we're in denial yes. using prayer. Yes. You know, and, and prayer is great. Yes. We love prayer, but God also provided mm -hmm. a lot of these tools for us here down to the earth. Yes, yes, absolutely. You know? So, yes. I'm, and from experience, I have seen a therapist. I continue to see a therapist. I think it's healthy, I think it's good. And, um, yeah, I think we all yeah. are probably dealing with some things I, that don't even know it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I just love to hear you say that so boldly and with so much uh, confidence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that. Uh, that has definitely been missing in our community when it comes down to mental health. Mm -hmm. uh, we've always, especially as African Americans, will say, you know, Uncle John, who's down in the basement, or, you know, Uncle John that's in the room back there, y'all make sure you get three square meals, and, you know, he all right. Mm -hmm. right. And I, I think a lot of times, even when parents are looking at their children, they're not wanting to get the help that is so much so desperately desired because they're feeling like it's a bad or negative reflection on, on them. them. On them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and then... It, it, it's, it's something about being in denial, mm -hmm. you know, but when you really just break things down, just as Selena said, um, we look at hypertension, high blood pressure, CA, uh, CHF, uh, which congestive heart failure, uh, end-stage renal failure, mm -hmm. and we go to the necessary physicians for, for those uh, disease pathologies. Here we mm -hmm. go. But you won't go for schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. You won't go for manic depression. Mm -hmm. you, you won't go for bipolar. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. And, and we need to get away from uh, looking at a person, you know, with a side eye because they may need. I'm gonna, and I'm going to wrap it up because I know I got my other two sisters here. But this is something that is very yeah, near and dear uh, to me for more, more reasons than one. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, I really, really, really would like to get away from looking at a person and saying, oh, this person is crazy. Mm -hmm. I would love to see the day when, we, when it becomes normalized, mm -hmm. just as we do when we look at some of the other disease path pathologies that I right. just stated. Yeah. Right. yeah. I, um, I've dealt with anxiety, and uh, I feel like I'm dealing with it now. It's just, it's a lot, you it's know. Okay. Yeah. People don't understand that, you know, we deal with a lot. Yes. Um, just yes, being yes. wives and mothers, and then, you know, we got to be on for this yeah. show, you know. Um, you don't want to miss your mark. Yeah, and it's you like. Work. You're under a lot of pressure. I just feel like it's a lot going on in my head a lot, and I just need to. It's okay. Woo, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's man. A lot. And, but we love what we do. 
but it's not easy um, being up for everybody else all the time. Yeah. yeah. I think one of the issues are, uh, one of the issues is actually, um, mental health is a, dishes, please. Yes. mental health, thank you, mental health is a non-tangible thing, mm -hmm. so when you're, when people are going through and you say, okay, um, something's wrong with them or something's wrong with that person, it's not necessarily something that you can physically see, like if you break your arm, you know that you go to the doctor to get a cast for your arm, if you, if you, you know, if your foot is swollen or whatever, you go and get a pill to take the swelling down off your foot, but when you are mentally fighting something, yeah. people assume, oh, that can be, that's just them acting away, they're acting or they're out, out the, acting but out, and they're, they're very dismissive, a absolutely, you know what I'm saying? I get like, it, I get it, physically so, see lupus. right, but you, but your body responds in a certain way, hence, your body also responds a certain way when you're mm -hmm. dealing with something mentally so I definitely agree with everyone um, and all the comments on the panel but I will say um, in our community it has been a stigmatism like you know oh he'll be okay or he's yeah. touched or she's touched so, we, so what do we do but we <laughs> so what what do we do to rectify that <laughs> so we have to I think we need chain. to um, break the chain I think we also need to um, absolutely when we see it you know, acknowledge that there is an issue there and stop making it such a bad thing that somebody yes. needs to go sit on the couch. If somebody needs a pill or to talk to someone, encourage that and foster an environment where it's okay well, uh, to get the help. We definitely need to get help, but we have to start um, make, creating awareness somehow. Yes. Maybe in legislation on, on lower levels, not lower levels, but the local levels, mm -hmm. and really putting it uh, in health care. Absolutely. And, and, and pushing it. Mm -hmm. You know, take, uh, in some health care, some health care plans don't cover mental illness or mm -hmm. don't cover therapy. We need to change things like this. Yeah. And we need to promote um, uh, mental health care. Care. Yes. Mm -hmm. We need to promote that. And, and become more educated on it. Begin yes. to do research and, and, and study on it. Start, study uh, you know, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, uh, uh, anxiety, postpartum depression. depression. Panic attacks. Like, yeah, okay. My God. All of it. My God. Just, yeah. it's, it's through research. We are only wiser, and the way we grow is through reading and learning. We have yeah. to really clock in on that, guys. Yes. And, and May is coming. It's Mental Health Awareness Month, and we're getting ready to turn up. Yes, right, we are. Right. Right. So for I'm more, down for it. Right. Just, for more information, uh, mentalhealth.gov can good. give you the information that you need. And we'll continue to talk about it here on Sister Circle Live.